Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Sonia Birch. And here's the latest from the Enterprise. The Kerwin Commission work group made a decision that the school officials have voicing concern. The Kerwin Commission is an initiative to provide funding and policy reform over multiple years to Maryland public schools. The subcommittee that will decide the funding for formula for the Kerwin Commission has voted to have its meetings in closed sessions. They're facing criticism for their lack of transparency. At Great Mills High School, freshman Tyler Lolo placed on the top 300 STEM list for this project at the National Science Fair as the top 300 Broadcom Masters, which is an exclusive list that recognizes STEM-related projects created by middle schoolers across the country. The list was announced earlier this month and includes students from around the country who attend public, private, charter, and home schools. The 14-year-old was chosen from a pool of 2,348 applicants. A YMCA exploratory committee was appointed by the St. Mary's County Commissioners in early September. The, member, the members will start meeting soon to determine the feasibility of a center, investigate the community's specific needs, ascertain the fundraising capacity for the project, and other aspects related to the potential community youth center. The Great Mills volleyball team, the Hornets, fell 25 to 13 and 25 to 17 in their first two sets on Wednesday. The Hornets would have to win their last three sets to achieve a victory. Bo Plotner, head coach of the Hornets volleyball team, said, "Emotions were flying, and we played pretty poorly in game one and game two. Shopcon came out and had strong serves, strong hitters, and strong everything. The scores weren't even close. However, Great Mills got their nose out in front at the start of the third set and followed suit in the fourth and fifth to earn." to come from behind victory over a county rival. Tuesday night, the Leonardtown Raiders and the Huntingtown Hurricanes had an intense soccer match. The Raiders, looking for an undefeated record this season, had a tough time against the Hurricanes. In the first half, both teams were in a scoreless tie. In the second half of the game, the Raiders put up some good offensive plays that even the head coach of the Hurricanes had to acknowledge. The head coach of the Hurricanes, known as Russell, stated they are a very good attacking team. It was a struggle for both teams. In the end, the Raiders took home the win. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Sonny Birch. Signing off.